Is beef better than Venizor for bodybuilding and muscle growth? Let's find out in this video here. Now, first of all, let's discuss how do we build muscles. And I will explain that to you from my perspective as a nutritionist. Now, muscle growth happens when we have enough calories. What does it mean? That we are eating more than we consume in a day. Now, when it comes to eating, we also need the right building blocks, which basically are the proteins because your muscles are made of proteins and the building blocks for proteins are called amino acids. Let me tell you more about amino acids. What are amino acids? Well, as I said, they are the building blocks for proteins and you can imagine them like sort of like small Lego bricks that you use to build your bigger like a uh, brick which is made by your proteins now speaking of amino acids the human body does require 20 different amino acids for it to be able to grow but only nine of them are considered to be essential what does it mean you have to eat them through the diet okay now of, of the essential ones these are the ones histidine lysine methionine phenylalanine threonine and tryptophan and then we have the three branch chain amino acid isoleucine valine and leucine let me tell you more about the branch chain amino acid now, the branched chain amino acids are the most important amino acids and they're responsible for over the 50% of muscle growth. 50% of which valine is leucine and the most important one being leucine. Leucine is the single most important amino acid to start the protein synthesis, which is the mechanism behind muscle growth. And obviously, it's going to be very, very important in our, in our assignment of the tier and, and, and the grade of these foods here. Now, speaking of that, let's put now these two foods one again the other and see which one comes on top. Let's start with contender number one. In the Goku's corner, we're going to have venison steak. So venison steak has really, really good values. Have a look up here. Okay, 149 kilocalories every 100 grams. Then we have 2.4 grams of fat, zero of carbs, obviously, and 30 grams of proteins. Now to go deeper, let's have a look at the amino acid. So as you can see, this is a complete protein. It does have all nine essential amino acids, but I want you to focus on the three in red, valine, isoleucine, and leucine. These are the branched chain amino acids. And as you can see, the values are very, very high. So let's recap venison and have a look where does it sit in a, in a tier list, okay? We have 30 grams of protein every 100 grams. Then we have a total amount of branched chain amino acid every 100 grams at 5.1 grams. That's really, really good. And losing 2.3 grams. This is really, really great. So where can we put venison? Venison is easily an S tier food because it does have these huge and beautiful values. And if you also want to be S tier, please do consider subscribe to my channel. There is a new video on these kind of topics every single week. Plus, I have shorts coming out every single day. Now, with that said, let's go to contender number two. In the Vegeta's corner, we have beef steaks. Okay. Now, beef steak has 214, 215 kilocalories, and this is for an average beef steak. I took sirloin steak as the one I'm using right here. 13 grams of fat, and remember about fat because later I will explain to you why fat is important and 25 grams of protein every 100 grams. Now have a look now at the spread. Once again, complete protein. We have all of the nine essential amino acids and have a look at the branch chain, the ones in red up there. Now let's recap and see where we can put this in the tier list. So we have 25 grams of proteins every 100. Then we have a total amount of branched chain amino acid of 4.6 grams every 100. And leucine is 2.1. This is really, really good. Is this as good as what we did see with venison? The answer is no. That's why we're going to put this into A tier and not S tier. Okay. Now let's have a look how they sit together in the one against the other. Now, as you can see, we can we, we have to put beef at number two and venison at number one. But beef is also really, really good for the amount of fat which is inside because 13 grams of fat are going to go into your body and they're going to be used to make all of your steroid-based hormones, which are very important for your muscle growth. Are, these are called anabolic hormones, of which testosterone is one of the main ones. So although venison is winning, beef is also really, 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 really high. That's why I put them in S tier and A tier. Now, let's recap everything that's needed for you to be able to grow your muscle and reach the body 
body that you really really desire first of all you have to exercise if you don't exercise nothing i'm telling you here is going to do anything okay step two is you have to eat the right foods again you have to be in calorie surplus so you have to have more calories than the ones that you use in a day and third and super important you need to sleep okay if you don't sleep enough you're never going to build muscle actual muscle growth happens when you're sleeping when you're recovering if you do all of that you will be able to reach the body of your dreams and you will be able to grow your muscles that you desire now that's enough for this video here if you want more of these videos every single week please do consider subscribing and please let me know in the comments if you like this type of food comparison and what kind of food would you like to see next for now have a great day and bye bye